hello um thank you for watching if you could uh, like this video or subscribe or give leave a comment i'd uh, appreciate it very much thank you very much for watching so uh, i'm doing a new series i've done a few vids before a couple of vids before and uh, how does it actually work so um last one i um did uh, how an old uh, cast iron um, ram pump works hydraulic ram pump so um after that i was told about papa pumps so i've looked into them and um uh, i've talked to them and uh, i've um it's actually a, a improved ram pump so it's the same sort of principle but uh, it's sort of differently laid out and is a bit more efficient for that and it's a bit um, differently made when so uh, well completely differently made really but same sort of principle so um this might look a bit confusing but i'll i'll go to the um how show old ramp pump works just to um, show again so if got water comes in here I'll say 30 liters comes here goes here it gets up to a certain speed that it hits that valve and it closes that at a certain speed bang it stops real bang and like uh, say a sea defense like imagine how a sea coming across a wave coming across a sea it's you know it does rise a bit but it comes along nice and there's a sea defense wall once it hits the sea defense wall wash up you know it stops bang as we wash up you know power behind it and momentum behind it carries water up over over the wall sort of thing you know like in storms then it goes over you know and all the water goes everywhere but this is contained so it's contained but all the power so that's bang closed and has to go somewhere so it goes back up the pipe a bit and this has weight behind it for pressure of water and weight of water that valve's closed so much power comes back up and whack it opens that valve open goes up there once the power's gone it closes that again and uh, once the, the it's tied down this opens again goes again whack and it goes round and round and round like that that's how it pumps it both 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 like that you know what well, that's hitting but um the c and c defense is a is um isn't like well it's the over the top sort of explanation how this works you know a hammer effect you know that's water hammering you know it's called hydraulic shock or water hammer it's like you know whack you know the old uh, cast iron ones you have this accumulator and there's nothing separate from air and water it uses air as the gas so the air now it can compress down and it can get uh, keep a constant pressure and it can take the shock out of this so it can pressurize the system and take a shock out and there's nothing separating it eventually this will fill up with water as the air sort of goes with water and have to drain it and fill it with air again but well just drain it out and let the air go back in uh, so uh, the, these valves aren't actually correct it's just to show it easily the proper valves sort of big bits of rubber and they just whack up you know a big ring of rubber like um plate of rubber and you can see and uh, i'll show now um, how this is the same and how it's different to the papa pump okay papa pump this is how the papa pumps um, are the same and sort of different so water comes down the pipe and this chamber now it's diff totally different to the ram pump you know it's a shaped chamber hits this sort of cone and splits it here and makes it turn around like that and it goes past this this is a rubber ring it's sort of Ring like that and shaped like this goes past that goes there goes there and out once it gets a certain speed it pushes this closed against there okay so water goes past now goes past there the same as the ramp pump the water will hit this flat face and want to close it but where this differs that little bit there is curved chamber there it's curved there I think now of a river now the outside bend is the fastest and the inside it slows down okay so the water speeds up around that corner and then the low speed where the low pressure it leaves on the inside actually creates suction like the venturi effect because this is a totally sealed unit sort of thing because the water sort of um, leaves low pressure that creates suction and because it has to gain up to the high pressure doing so when this gets when the flow gets to speed it not only closes with the power of it hitting it once it's going past it also pulls it closed so this is a harder bang you know 
So like I was saying about the water shock, you know, like the um, valve closed and it went bang like a C defense wall, you know, like bang C bang in it against it. This is a harder bang, you know, so it's more power. Okay, so it's more efficient that way. Now, the second thing it's more efficient at, you've got a valve here going out, and this is in line. So the once that goes bang, the water can't go anywhere. The actually weight of water, you know, with the, the shock wave, it goes straight there, you know. So like I was saying about the ramp pump, it had to go back up the pipe and go up again like this. It's quite close together and also the flow of water sort of makes it go to here. So it doesn't have to fight against the flow of water going back up the pipe. So it um, makes a harder bang and it also wastes less of a bang going through this valve. Okay. And with this now, like with the old ramp pumps, you could adjust the... Some of them had like a lever and rod there and thread, you could adjust this on a spring so this um, stayed open more and you know took more water to close it so we got a harder bang sort of thing. More speed so a harder bang. On this now we've got threads here on this casing and can thread this in and out to make to, to, to do the same basically, just to there. To make a harder bang then but you waste more water. So the least, less water you let go through, the less speed you get, get when, and less, um, you know, m momentum behind it. Okay? That's the same effect, you know, like I was saying, water hammer, you know, bang, and the, you know, water shock, you say. Okay? Where it differs again, the pressure vessel, you know, is, well, it's the same, basically, it's behind the valve here, but this is a um, pressure vessel. So, uh, instead of just being full of air, it actually has a, a bladder separate, separating the, it has a gas in it and as a, say, a, might be air, whatever, you know, say it's um, got a bladder now and uh, under no pressure, the bladder's down here. Once it gets pressurized, bladder goes up here and say puts pressure in it and more pressure goes more up, you know, it, it can fill the chamber sort of thing and more it goes up and more pressure creates in the gas, you know, and that makes the up and down and also wants to press water you know wants to it wants to go back down pressing it and wants to keep the constant pressure it's sort of the same as accumulator but uh, you don't have to worry about it filling up with water sort of thing well into unless the, the rubber goes um, then this is basically the same as a hydraulic accum accumulator so hydraulic accumulator just has a rubber diaphragm this is called a bladder i think just um, it's basically the same but uh, different because <laughs> So um, the seals on this uh, visa as well. So like I was saying about the old um, ramp pump, it's just a lump of rubber, a round lump of rubber. On these it's a ring, a uh, ring of sort of rubber, silicon, you know, latex, something like that, you know, rubber, yeah. So um, it sort of works like any other seal. You know, you keep a sort of flat bit um, against what you're holding back. And say, you know, the curves here, it can push past it, but this way, you know, try to go to the corner right, and it pushes it to seal it, you know, sort of thing. More we push this way, more seals. More we push this way, more it wants to push past because of the way it's shaped. Okay, so we've got your um, valve here. So the non return valve, it's flat against the way this is coming. And it's flat there because you want, when this gets to the speed, you want to seal, you know. So it's more efficient sort of that way. Also, the curve there. I guess, as I was saying about the Venturi effect, you know, like a river going round, that helps as well. So a Venturi sort of suction effect, um, it's basically the same. See now, like I was saying, you know, bend the river speeds up, you know, because it's bending. And it cre creates this, you know, low pressure of um, the um, inside one. It's basically the same, like, uh, say now a car, you were on the street now, walking the street, and a car went whizzing past, a real, pa a real fast. You can feel the air sort of suck you, want to suck you behind it, you know. So that's the sort of uh, venturi, you know, with the speed of the water creating suction, you know. You could um, say as well, this uh, shape here, the valve here, it also acts like a plain wing. So like a plain wing, it um, creates a suction at the top of the wing and uh, that sort of sucks the plane upwards. So this is a similar thing, you sort of speed it up and create suction so it um, sucks it. So it, uh, you could think of it as like a river or a, a plane wing, you know. So it wants, like a plane wants to suck up, you know. 
So it's the same sort of thing as this, it wants to suck behind it, you know. So it wants to suck the valve and it wants to push it. So it's a harder bang, you know. It's got two things against it and so it closes faster, you know. So it uh, closes faster and harder, making uh, more power, basically. You, you waste less power, you know, sort of feathering it, you know. If you lose a bit of time, then it uh, sort of loses more water and a bit more power, you know. But it closes harder, so ba harder bang. And... Uh, this uh, wastes less of banging because it's closer then. Okay. It's sort of the same, but uh, they've uh, improved it, you know. It's more efficient then. Also, the, the body of it is, isn't made of cast iron anymore. It's made out of uh, a composite, you know, like um, with plastics and fibers then. So it uh, won't rust or anything like that. Uh, so, uh, thank you for watching and uh, that's it from me for now then. Also, another thing we've um, invented for this pump is a, a valve that goes here. So this waste valve, you know, with waste of water, we've made a valve here that can uh, shut it off. So um, how it sort of works is, um, I won't go too much into it, but uh, say you've got a cistern then that feeds this, you know, um, accumulates the water and feeds this constant. Say it uh, can drop in the summer, you know, with no, not enough water to run it. It has like a ball valve in the tank and that ball valve makes a, a valve go and this uses like a high pressure going into this special valve and um, there's like a spool on the actual um, float valve. Once it gets down it sends the pressure back to this, goes to the valve here and it closes this off so it won't let any water coming out of it so it stops the pump. Once the water gets up again and the valve goes up it opens this again and uh, it lets water going out again so it, it can switch itself on and off on and off as it needs to it's a sort of an extra thing papa have come out uh, out to even so that so it's more efficient and you can add add that and all onto it it's you know they brought it up to uh, you know they've modernized it and uh, made it more efficient and modernized it so uh, that's the sort of advantages you can have from this you know it'll um, probably pump more it pump further and it'll probably pump more because you're wasting less en energy and so you're making more energy and you're wasting less so it you know it's more efficient then and you could add your extra bit there if, if you if it suits you better you know like you don't need the um as much flow as you would need with the old pump you know old pump it uh, goes all the time so you need a good flow coming into it you know Want to be constant. If you had air coming through it, it would stop it and you have to bleed it. And but this now it can automatically off, you know, go off itself and stop itself as it needs to. So uh, yes, thank you for watching and um, goodbye from me for now. On.